Mm, chup, chup. Oro, plata, mata, oro, plata, mata, oro, plata, mata, oro, plata. Es me llamo mata, oro, plata. Safe. See, they said that architecture is all about aesthetics, but actually, whoever has the 3D model, kasi ito naman yung susundan sa site. This is the one that will be followed during construction. So while we see everything in 3D, compared to like just a 2D plan, we can make better decisions during the planning stage. For example, let's go towards this section. I see that there is a bathroom above. Okay? If I had not seen this in 3D or considered it when I was planning, then my ceiling would have looked like this. Okay? And this is very uso or very popular in many unplanned stages. Example where you left concrete ceiling open and then you have an exposed beam. Pipes come out of here! So while I am here in the living room and I am preparing food in the kitchen, I can hear I can hear poop flushing down the toilet. So what do I do? Based on this information, I consider my what? Structural engineer's plan that he placed the beam there. So the pipes should not go through. It should go underneath. I consider what? The master plumber plumber? <laughs> the master plumber's plan as well. That the pipes need to be 2% sloping going here. So what's that for us? That means we have to adjust just the location of this light bulb, the pipes, and then put a false ceiling or a drop ceiling. In that case, this is priority over other stuff such as this or other decorative elements. Then I will tell the client, mm, I think your budget should go here first. Aside from that auto platamata stairs, because we're very tight on budget as well. Now, what if I want to conceal this bathroom and I do not like to easily see like, you know, when people go out of the bathroom, sometimes they're still zipping up their pants and stuff. So I set up my model to have sections so that I don't have a hard time navigating through the model. Let's say example, somebody just washed their hands and then went out of the bathroom, instead of spending on a full concrete wall, I can make some vertical slats. Now while I'm on this area, all I see is a white wall because the slats have been inclined going towards the left. But when I am in the kitchen, I do not see the toilet area at least when they open the door because it has been functionally designed here, you know, not just aesthetic. So many people will think, oh, that's just a decorative element, but no. When architects plan and design, it's not that the drawing is just for beauty and stuff. It's that every single line considers every building system available. Then I have to consider how much will this cost? How will it be built? What's the color? What's the size of the tile? How will this nosing be installed? Or will this be uh, just tubular pipes? Stuff like that. If you're already done with your galvanized square steel, then we can just use the SketchUp 3D model to give us information, hence the word BIM. Building Information Modeling. It's not just 2D, it's not just 3D. We can go until four and five dimensions regarding cost, estimate, specification, and methods of installation. So use your SketchUp model wisely, see? have information, of course people do not see SketchUp as BIM, but it depends on the way you use it. I have everything here for my estimates, for my BOQ, for my sizing. You can even link like a website where to buy the exact uh, furniture or hardware. And I also have my Windows schedule. But that's for another topic next time. Annyeonghaseyo, <laughs> yorobun.